Digital Chalkboard is a mission planning tool which enables you to create military graphic overlays on top of the VBS3 map for both 2D and 3D visualizations. Digital Chalkboard is accessed by clicking on the pen tool or pressing the F9 key, which will bring up the Digital Chalkboard Tools menu. The first tool we're going to look at is the GRG, the Geographic Reference Grid. What the Geographic Reference Grid allows us to do is define mission areas or particular areas of interest on the map. Start by dragging a box across the area of interest, and then change the settings of the box as necessary. We can add a second GRG, which allows us to get further defined in this particular area of interest. You can change the size of the grid at any time, such as making it 50 meters, 25 meters, 10 meters, or even larger, all the way up to 500 meters. We can add symbols to our map, which allow us to identify supporting friendly units or enemy units using the standard 2525 Bravo set. If I wanted to create an observation post overlooking the objective, I can find the symbol in the list, choose its size to be represented on the map, and then click to place it. I can create multiple symbols on and around this area to designate friendly forces. We can also use the symbols to identify civilian and enemy forces located in this area of operation. Using the military symbol for OP4, I can designate the enemy controlled structures. Using the civilian symbol set, I can designate which houses are occupied by civilians. Next tool we have access to is the line tool, which allows us to draw a variety of different types of lines, such as face lines. We can also use this tool to designate routes into or around the town. The other tools we have access to are circle, ellipse, and rectangle tools, which can be used to identify areas of interest no fire areas, and like symbology. For instance, there's a mosque in this area. We want to prevent accidental fires in this area, so we're going to draw a rectangle over the mosque with a particular fill pattern to make it very obvious. Other symbols, which we have readily available, allow us to determine the main axis of attack of our friendly forces. Any of these symbols can be adjusted live. We can move them around. We could change the color as necessary. Another tool we have access to is the text tool. You can write text on top of the graphics so you designate clearly where areas of interest are at or other types of information. Let's say the main assault is traveling along this road and to establish a foothold, we're gonna take these three buildings Based on the map, we're going to designate this as the CCP, or the Casualty Collection Point. So we can mark that using text, and this text will hover and appear above the building. Another tool we have access to is the Pencil Tool, which allows us to draw on the map freehand. For instance, we can designate the unit's approach into the mission area, and identify which buildings are going to be taken first to gain a foothold during the initial assault. The graphics that we've placed in 2D are also visible in 3D. You can right click and select default camera. You can click view and select 3D camera view, or you can press the mic or M key to move into 3D. All of the 2D elements are now visible in 3D and they can be adjusted or manipulated as necessary in 3D. If, for instance, we identify that this house is not going to be large enough or safe enough to serve as our CCP, we can change location in the 3D view. 
We can also add more information in 3D just like we would in 2D, marking more civilian occupied homes as necessary. We can use the freehand tool to further clarify mission objectives. The changes that we make in 3D are also visible in 2D again. If you've completed adding graphics to the map, to save these changes to the mission, you'll click on the gear icon under the digital chalkboard dialog and click Save to Mission. This will bring up the Save Mission dialog. You can type in any name in the mission line, then click OK to save the graphics to the mission. It's important to note that we're operating in the offline mission editor. The reason for this is as we save the graphics to the mission, then play this on a network game, those graphics, along with the mission, are sent over to the rest of the users. In a network scenario, your users will have access to view the graphics and make changes as necessary. Your users will have access to the C2 interface, which allows them to access digital chalkboard in the same way, and can make changes locally that clearly illustrate the details of their part in the operation. This allows training units to conduct mission planning at lower levels to clarify their unit-specific objectives, such as how they will conduct security operations or clearly designating sectors of fire. The additions that they make to the map will be local and will not clutter up the rest of the scene for the other training units. Digital Chalkboard allows you to conduct mission planning for different echelons by providing you with a variety of drawing tools using 2525 standard symbol set, GRG, or geographic reference grid, and tools such as the pen tool, text tool, line, circle, ellipse, and rectangle tool. You choose a map that exists in the real world, you lay out your plan in the real world, conduct it virtually, and then execute it live.